Hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Thank you for always dropping by. I'm really, really grateful. And uh, if it's your first time here, please do well to hit the subscribe button and also like the video and also share it. Thank you very much. So today I'm going to be taking you through a screen recording on how to run a proper Facebook campaign, a campaign that will cost you much money and will give you the best of results. So I'm going to be taking you to the screen record on my phone. So the first thing you want to do is to go to your Facebook account. I have logged in into my Facebook account. Uh, I'm using another person's Facebook account here because my own advertising access has been restricted. So I will teach you how to uh, add up your page in another person's account so that you can run a Facebook campaign with that account so what i want to do is to switch to the page i am using the wrong campaign so you come here and you click on see your profile then uh, i want to run campaign with digital d which is my personal page and tada here it is so i am on the page now i am acting as myself so what you want to do is to come to the three dot here and uh open uh, the page itself yes open the page itself so the page is here please make sure you have your page health at good if you look at here it says the page health is good at least fill up to 80 percent of your page um details so that you have a good page health fill the website field and so many things there Fill there you can still come here and edit, edit your details add so many things add your website add whatever you want to add so just add more and more and make sure uh, you add it every day so i want to maybe maybe you want to add a website you can add it just click on update your information and it will be there so i want to add the website so i have a website already the website you created if you have been following the course so i can just copy it and go back And just paste it so then I save it so make sure you uh, you have most of these things filled up already so that you are still on a good side last you get to that level they say good it's okay then since you are done you want to view us okay how does my page look so you click on view us and it shows you see everything how it is it's still okay so uh, we are done with that so uh, you see that my bar increased a little bit after i uploaded my website so you might want to add any other thing you wish to add or you might leave it as it is so the next thing you want to do is um if you have not linked an instagram account you come to professional dashboard there click on professional dashboard and you have so many options there so many options so many options so many options you have from your your page your post your audience so that's where you see the insight who did your post reach what are the people looking at your post a lot of things there so that's the way you see it so uh where you want to come is a uh, link account link account so once you click on link account then you can link your Instagram page. Then you click on this C-O-N-N. -N. It means connect account. But it's just a short form because we are using our phone. But I am not collecting my Instagram account yet. So I'm just leaving it blank. So I go back to the previous um, slide. So the next place you might want to come to is uh, what I call moderation assist. So moderation assist is what they help you to moderate some words. If you want to uh, edge out some profane words on your page, uh, swear words, words that are abusive and things like that, so there's a way you do it. So once you click on Modation Assist, you click on Let's Go. So there are a lot of things you can do on uh, Modration Assist. So one of the things you want to do is on Add. Click on Add. So what do you want to add here? is keywords in comment keywords in comment so you click on keywords in comment then you begin to type the keywords you don't want people to type maybe mad 
on serious too expensive costly so you add as much as you want to add and you can have up to 1000 words so after you have finished adding what you want to do is just so you save it there will be a save that will come up under and then you save it so all you do is just save once you are done 